Hey, this is Debbie, and I am uh, going to do a part of this cool Volkswagen minivan. I want, I want to try these palm trees. So I am. Um, this is a, a um, what do they call this? One? Surf Club is the name of this particular uh, transfer that you can get from my catalog, and um, we also have a Volkswagen Beetle. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. Oh, there's my sister. Okay. So I'm going to cut this one, and I'm just going to cut out the palm trees right now and do a little um, demonstration with them. And it give, when, we, when you get your transfer, it comes with cut lines, so you know exactly where to cut things. It also comes with little overly um, circles or arrows. Kind of hard to see because they're really little but see right here okay so when you have like multiple layers to put on for the minibus um, the trick is you put the first one on and then you line up all those little dots and then wash them off when you're all done all right so this is going to be a simple one i am this is a brand new transfer and i am going to take my transfer um, i am going to show you okay the transfers all come on this wonderful white back paper, and that makes it easier to store them in those bags. Or you can take them out and you can put them in um, a little, like a photo album kind of book. Um, you want to be careful though, because the transfers are sticky. Okay, see how it sticks to me? Sticks to me. Um, it's a silk screen, it's fabric. It's a pretty color just because that's our company color but it's um, if you can see close enough you can see me through there but I look a little hazy kind of like the old movie stars where they used to put cheesecloth over the camera screen so their complexion is all perfect and glowing I won't name who those people used to be but um, lay it down on a towel especially if it's the first time that you've used it um, and you're using it on a wood surface just to get a little fuzz on there. And oh, you have to do a little work on that one. All right, well, we're gonna do it anyway because I'm all set up to go. And I'm gonna do it facing you instead of facing me this time. And I'll turn the camera down a little bit in a minute. So let's make sure we're kind of straight. Yeah, we're looking pretty straight. All right, I'm gonna use blue and silver on this one today just to demonstrate some different techniques and how to blend the colors um, to get like an ombre kind of effect. So I'm going to start the trunks with the blue. And let me just turn this camera down just a fraction. All right, there you go. All right, so we're going to start with the blue. I have a couple different squeegees here to be able to do this with. And we're going to work the blue and then I'm going to take some of the silver and I'm going to work it up into here with a little of the blue and then I'm going to come back with more blue And I'm going to spread some of the blue across the middle and I'm going to try to grab some of that silver. And spread some more of it around the top. Okay, I think I've got it all covered. Just maybe get a little silver in the hints down there. And I'm terrible about folding over corners so it's easier to grab. And you don't want to grab it by one corner, you want to grab it in the middle because like I said, it is a silk screen and it's fabric. So that mess just turned into that. Now, could you have painted that by freehand? No. Well, maybe some of you. I know some people who could, but I'm not one of them. And I couldn't do it repeatedly 
and I couldn't do it in any form that I would actually be willing to sell. So I just made those beautiful little palm trees on this little piece of wood and it took me, I don't know, am I keeping time? A little over five minutes. Five minutes. Work of art. Hang on your walls. I'm gonna work on some more. I've got Jim cutting um, some boards for me and then we're going to take those boards and put frames around them um, using tobacco sticks. And the tobacco stick uh, concept is kind of popular down here. It's very rustic and, and um, farmhousey, but I'm using quilt squares to do those. Yes, I am. I'm doing quilt squares to do those. So the next project will probably be um, probably tomorrow morning and it's going to be an American flag, but it's also going to be a military flag. So you'll see how that works out. Hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.